Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my June Birchbox review and I'm so excited because um, I really liked a lot of these products and I used up some so some of these will be in my July empties because I do get my June Birchbox about halfway through the month. Um, Birchbox is a $10 a month subscription. I'm not sponsored by them, I pay for this by myself but I thought I would let you know in case you're curious. I really like it, I've had it for years. So I thought I would go ahead and jump on into the review and yeah, this is a kind of a different location than I've filmed before. Uh, I cleaned, we cleaned our room yesterday and I moved my makeup over here. So hopefully that's a better setup. The cats are both in here. Um, like I've told you in my update, I can link it down below. They are always in here. Um, sometimes we'll, they'll go out, but we watch them if they go out. So if they make noise, I'm sorry. The first thing I got is what I'm wearing on my lips and it is the Cynthia Rowley Creamy Lip Stain and I think this is in Valentine. Valentine, it just looks like this. It has gorgeous packaging. I absolutely love it. I put it on right before this video or probably a few minutes before and you can tell it's still creamy. Um, this one doesn't have, it, it has stain power and I really like it because it starts out really vibrant and then kind of just fades away to more like natural look I guess which I really like um, it doesn't stay a super super long time but it is creamy lip stain if you want a lip stain and you want it creamy I really like this because it's not super drying um, if your lips are already dry I would recommend putting on a lip gloss or a chapstick beforehand just because it is a little bit drying it's a lip stain it's going to be drying but I thought I would go ahead and give you guys a swatch So it just looks like this. You can tell it's very, very creamy and I really like it. So, yes. The next thing the next thing is something that I used up and it is the Dr. Hanashika, maybe, lemon, lemongrass vitalizing, revitalizing body wash. Just looks like this and then this is the product. Um, it's all scrunched up. So this is the product uh, I've used. It also will be in my July empties. But just so you know, I loved the smell. I love lemon smell and it smelled like lemon. Um, but I just didn't, I didn't really like it. I The full size is $23 and I have a couple dollar body washes that I like so much better. And I actually ended up mixing this with the Carrez Bergamot Pear. And actually I you like two or three dollars. I got this one for Christmas. Um, that and the matching body lotion so I brought it home for the summer just so you know um, but I ended up kind of mixing the two but you could still smell the lemon which I really really liked I love the lemon smell but I don't think I'll get it again because it wasn't just fantastic if that makes sense like for $23 a body wash has got to be pretty darn fantastic the next thing is the Foley seriously this is what my cat sounds like. The next one is a Foley, Foley de Jouy Parfum. Just looks like this. This is the container. Um, I don't wear perfume every day, so I didn't wear this, but I really, really like this. I don't know if I'm gonna get the full size or if I wanna get the full size. Um, if I do use this up in July, it'll be in my July empties because I only have a few uses left, but and I lost it for a little bit, like two weeks, so yeah. Anyways, this I really like. It's a light, it's like a fresh light floral. It says it's a fresh blend of mandarin, rose, and sandalwood. They're playing with a mouse, like a toy mouse, so I'm sorry. Um, it says it's a fresh blend of mandarin, rose, and sandalwood. So it is a, like a light floral, fresh scent, and I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, I might repurchase this. I haven't decided. There are other perfumes that I like too. So it might go on the list. I don't know if it'll be like top of the list, if that makes sense, but I do like it a lot. The next is something that is a quick comparison. Um, I got, this is the Mally Volumizing Shampoo, or Shampoo, <laughs> Mascara, Volumizing Mascara. And so is this. So I got this one, I believe in like December. I should have looked it up. Um, but it cracked down the side and it was already drying up. Both of these are very wet formulas. Um, both of these um, seem to be, I don't know if there's a difference 
I don't know if they just like redid their volumizing mascara. I'm not sure, but I thought I would show you the guys the difference since I talked about how much I love this and this mascara is was in my June empties. Partially because I did get this mascara and I like it just as much, um, if not better. So these are the different wands. This is the one I got in December and this is the one I got in my June birch box. So as you can tell, the one I got in my June birch box is taller and the wand seems a little bit longer as well. I don't know if you could as well. So I really like this. Um, both of them are were wet formulas. Um, they're both really, really wet formulas. And I don't find, I didn't find either of these very volumizing. Um, I found them both very, very lengthening, which I really like. Um, and then I put a volumizing on top and that's what I have on today. So I really like the, I just put a little bit of volumizing on afterwards, but that is what's on my eyes today. So yeah. Um, yeah. So this one is gone and I'm really sad, but I gotta replace it and I really like this and packaging is gorgeous. So definitely recommend the Mali volumizing. The only thing is it's not volumizing. I find it more lengthening personally, but yes. The last thing is the Pierlier body cream in Shea Almond. It looks like this. Um, I loved how moisturizing it was. And this, I believe, is almost gone too. I loved how moisturizing it was. I'm not a fan of the Shea Almond scent at all. I I just don't like like the Shea and the Almond. I'm just not a fan. Um, so I liked it. I ended up using it mainly on my hands because, like I said, I have the matching body lotion or body cream to this, and it's so thick. And I love it after a shower. This one is just a little bit thinner any other lotion on the planet, body cream, whatever, is going to be thinner than that. Um, but I did like it. I thought it was very moisturizing, but I probably wouldn't get it again. Um, again, just because it's not my favorite. I loved it and I'm going to use it up because it's wonderful, but it's just, it's just not my favorite one, if that makes sense. So yeah, that was my June Birchbox review. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that helped, I guess, a little bit. Wondering if you want to get those products. I'll link my June Birchbox unboxing down below. So if you want to see kind of what my first impressions were. And then my um, blog post that I have, and I'll have up close pictures and stuff of this in my blog will be linked down below as well. And just so you know, what's on my nails is the Wet n Wild Megalast and Candylicious. So it just is this. So just thought I'd let you know if you see it. Um, it's been on for about a week, so it's staying on pretty, pretty well. And the lip stain is still on. And you can tell the lip stain lasted the video and it kind of has faded a little bit, not as glossy. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite lotion scent is down below. Mine, I think, is lemon because I love the scent of lemon, lemon berry. Bath and Body Works came out with like a lemon line, lemon line of body lotions one year and I loved it. I think my favorite scent was lemon berry. So yeah, that was awesome and I loved it. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Bye.